always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And good morning, West Michigan. We rounded out yesterday evening with some showers and thunderstorms for about the southern half of our area. But once we saw that cold front kind of pull through, uh, things have been shaping out to be quite nice, actually. Lots of photos coming in of that gorgeous sunset. This one sent in from Mark from Little John Lake. This other one here from Loretta and Turk Lake. Uh, really, again, uh, just a gorgeous sight to see. Lots of reds, oranges, and yellows popping up out there. And we should have a pretty a stellar sunrise here this morning just after 7 a.m. So about 45 ish minutes to go. Storm track live here again has that cold front pretty far off to our east. It's pulling the cloud cover along with it. So we should really have beautiful blue skies today. Really not a whole lot of change in the forecast. Temperatures will top off near 80 degrees, but it'll feel so much better for us. We'll see those temperatures or dew points, I should say, dip down to those low 60s, which is a vast improvement from where we were in the 70s earlier on this week. And we'll continue falling into the 50s for the remainder of your weekend. Your beach and boating forecast for today is a good one. Those winds will be relatively calm from the west northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wave heights expected at about 1 to 2 feet, so that means green flags should be flying at pretty much all of our local beaches. Again, cooler by the lake, especially with that westerly wind, so keep that in mind. Uh, water temperatures, though, not bad either. We're sitting in the 60s and 70s, pretty near normal for this time of the year. Now, your future cast here, again, quiet, will be clear tonight, so that should favor some slightly cooler conditions into your Sunday morning. But Sunday afternoon will be quite windy. We'll see those winds turn to the north at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that's going to cause us some issues with wave heights. We're expecting at least three to five feet waves initially, ramping up likely to five to seven. So this could actually be one of the worst days that we've seen in quite a bit of time. So we'll see red flags flying. Because of that, the National Weather Service has already issued us a beach hazard statement that will go into effect at 4 a.m. on Sunday, and this one will carry through Monday morning. So a little bit of a long duration there. Keep in mind, too, despite the sunshine and temperatures holding in the mid-70s, uh, again, rip currents are going to be a huge factor Sunday, so stay out of the water. Monday, we should recover, though. Uh, we'll have quiet conditions once again with those winds from the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Lots of sunshine and high temperatures still holding in those mid-70s, so it will be, again, one of the cooler days of this upcoming week, but uh, likely a nice change of pace for a lot of us. And you'll notice I don't have a whole lot to say through about Wednesday. It's a very quiet start to our forecast. Plenty of sunshine expected there. We'll see a couple more 80s make a return in that Wednesday and Thursday time frame. But then we'll see another system dip through. This will give us a chance for some showers Thursday night and into Friday. Doesn't look like we'll have any thunderstorms with it. And in fact, it doesn't even really look like a washout at this point. So we'll know a lot more as we get closer. 70s will be the theme as we head into next weekend. And those low temperatures will also be notably cooler. We'll see a lot more 50s and even upper 40s popping up.